What's up with y'all, man? It's Hit Make It Easy. Make sure y'all tap in the Tap Podcast. Hit Make It Easy on Instagram. Follow me. Let's get it. Hey, what's up with it? Did y'all for 2K? Make sure you tap in the Tap Podcast. Let's get it. Make a few payments, no plan. We heard you was slacking. I get that front end, back end, back end. I got your bitch trying to tap in, tap in. I made that bitch take off shoes for she sat in. Packing her back, the little bitch already nagging. Back then, back in these holes that have it. Tune me in, get a couple viewers in this bitch. Get a couple viewers in this bitch. I'm finna sit the fuck down. Cause my ass tired of standing up all oh, motherfucking ready, man. Ah, mm-hmm. oh, man, goddamn, goddamn. I just have to get right back up. Everybody feeling right now, man. Everybody cool? Shit, we straight. Everybody chilling? You good? Yeah, what's up with you? Shit, I'm chilling for real, for real. Kind of upset that home coming over with. Yeah, yeah just a little bit. I mean, we don't owe me too much, but I say at least owe me a couple more performances, you know. No, you know how it be just because niggas ain't show up, man. Yeah. Kind of hurt my feelings for real, for real. Cause All I right, money to get in that concert. Oh shit! You were it wasn't even jumping in that motherfucker, neither was it. Nah, I wasn't jumping at all, bro. They like most niggas that paid to get in there was there for a certain motherfucker. And he didn't come, and then, then they left. Yeah. It just was what it was, type shit. I heard they made a little announcement, and that's when everybody just rushed out that motherfucker. Man, they made really? an annu- yeah, they made yeah. an announcement on stage, and everybody was like, "Ah, right, we out of here. What's the move?" Oh. Pretty much, yeah. I was one of those niggas that had to leave too. I was. Pretty upset. Niggas was hot. Don't know why cared to see Sada Baby and Big Scar. You know what I mean? Like it's it's okay, but like I didn't pay fifty bucks to see them niggas. Like, damn, nah, not at all, man. But and you pay fifty? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, bro. Because look, when you buy something on the last day, it costs more. You know what I'm saying? You need the student discount. Nah, I didn't even get the student discount because I got it so motherfucking late. There wasn't no student discount at that point. So that ain't ticket type shit, man. But hey, man, TSU. Do better for 22, man. Please, please, yeah, please. I got some, I got students that's about to be seniors and want to graduate and want to have the best homecoming they ever motherfucking had, man. So, TSU, please tap in, man. But anyway, man, we about to get right to it because I see that's, we on, we on live shit right now, man. I see that we got a couple viewers and we about to let y'all know who the fuck we kicking it with. Before I even let them introduce themselves, I'm going to just write the song real quick and see what y'all fucking with, man. It's called Flight After Flight. Flight after flight, man. By this artist right here, you're gonna introduce himself after we get into the music. But flight after flight, tap in, tune in, drop the mushroom, let me know if y'all fucking with it or not. We're gonna see what's popping with it, man. Video coming soon. That flight after flight, yeah. Tap in. Video coming soon. It make it easy, man. I'm taking flight after flight. Switch up the whole every night. You wanna talk about trapping, let's talk about rapping, let's talk about ice Man, nice in the basement, and young it was cooking off hundred and knife Now I gotta run up the price, dog and I won't say it twice I gotta check on my wrist, I never check on my bitch I gotta fed it for counting the cheddar, I'm dripping, man, we to be drenched Fuck how I turn, I let go, I wrote this shit on the road Niggas be talking about money and clocks, but that shit ain't nothing but show Truck. You switched up on easy, you out of luck yeah. Put this ass on my neck like a hockey puck We shoot it like Mike when a thunderstruck Man, you niggas ain't nothing but Donald Ducks Man, I'm majoring that how to run it up Take a note of song ah. yeah. This shit is pippin' ain't easy I'm putting it on I'm for my city like Jeezy God damn We kings, we born to be rich Oh, man I always knew I'd be this Man, we only got a, a minute yeah. and a half of it. Hey, can we run yeah. it back for one more time just in case you niggas ain't hearing that shit? Go ahead, run it back. We're about to run it back for yeah, y'all yeah. just in case you niggas ain't hearing, man. But y'all only getting a minute and a half of this shit, That's man. Cool. Fight yeah. after flight, man. Yeah. Video on the way. Video yeah. on the motherfucking way, man. He said it's that flight after flight. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna lie to you. You wrote that whole I'm gonna have to put a rest for me after this bitch. That's a bit. That's a bit. I got you. Roll that whole thing. Appreciate it. Uh, Stop here, man. I'm taking flight after flight. Switch up the whole every night. Yeah. You wanna talk about trapping? Let's talk about rapping. Let's talk about ice. Yeah. Man, nice in the basement. That young was cooking off hundred and knife. Now I gotta run up the price. Dog and I won't say it twice. I gotta check on my wrist. I never check on my bitch. I gotta fit it for counting the cheddar. I'm dripping, man. We to be drenched. Fuck out of turn, I let go. I wrote 
this shit on the road. Yeah. Niggas be talking about money and glocks, but that shit ain't nothing but show. Minnesota, man. Minneapolis, Minnesota, yeah. God damn it. You can't even say it right. <laughs> Min- Min- is it Minneapolis or Minneapolis? It's Minneapolis, but I've been I've been living down here for four years. So, okay. Yeah. So you tapped into the sea at yeah. this point. Dude. Yeah, I'm pretty tapped in here, tapped in, in Atlanta too, so. Hell yeah, that's what's yeah. up, bro. These shit, yeah, yeah. Hey, three cities deep about this bitch, man. I mean, yeah, you know yeah. some motherfuckers, bro. Not for sure. Let the people know where you is, gang. Man, this be Yapa 2K straight out of Memphis. Man, Yapa yeah. 2K out the M in this bitch, straight man. Out the M, man. Been here four years it. too, cuz. Four years in the city too? Yeah. Ah, damn, but y'all right down the street, so you probably go back to M Town all the time. time, you know, all, the time all the time. Gotta see the fam. You know how this shit go. Hell yeah, got to, man. Gotta show love to the fam whenever you can. Hey, and then I got a motherfucking another special guest, my motherfucking co host from the city in this bitch. 513, Boy City, what's up? Y'all, it's your girl, Nate Beasy. What's yep. going on? Nate Beasy, Nate Beasy, man. Talk to him. I know you've been doing your shit too. What's been going on at TSU with the Mass Con Department? What's that work y'all been putting in? Well, you know, the radio station, yep. we getting that back on and rolling. Yep. So, tap in with the radio station, y'all. We doing big things. Tap Coming in to next semester. radio. Spring yes. semester, y'all. Y'all ain't ready for Y'all really ain't ready for the shit that's going on, man. <laughs> and y'all know exactly who the fuck I am. If you're watching this shit, I go by the name Tash from the Colors, aka Team the Colors, the most dopest and the most fresh, man. Gotta come to y'all with some live content from Nashville. So shout out YouTube, shout out Facebook, shout out IG, everybody who's been viewing thus far. We're about to keep going. Happy Taps Giving, man. It's the first day of November. Taps Giving giveaways all motherfucking month long, man. And then Mary Tap must come in inside 30 days from now, man. I promise y'all that, man. And shout out that boy M Dub because he got a motherfucking interview tonight. I with Benzino. Y'all know who that is, man. The nigga, you, uh, you know, the source. Uh, Corey LeRae, dad, he interviewing him tonight. So shout out Brody with that. But first, we got to take it back here, tapped in. This is episode four. So if y'all tuned in, y'all early on in the development, we're about to get into hit, make it easy, and pick his brain mm-hmm. apart just a little motherfucking bit, bro. Because you got some shit. I ain't going to lie. I mean, but lay your IG feed a little bit, man. I mean, Talk to us a little bit. You already said you're from Minneapolis. Yeah, we got yeah. you in the music being from out there. Shit, I've been doing music since I was young. Like, yeah. Really, my pops, my pops used to do music and shit. So, yeah. really, just being around that shit and being around the culture. He had a studio actually. Uh, after school, the bus used to drop me off at the studio instead of actually like at crib at the crib. So, you know, just being around that, being yeah. around that, really got me into it, and I just grew making music. Hell yeah, that's yeah. what's up. Yeah, like, God damn it, what type of music your dad was doing? Like, shit, rap, rap, yeah, you know. <laughs> old nigga shit. You know, like <laughs> rap shit though. You feel me? Yeah. It was rap shit though. You still make music? Yeah, nah, not no more. Yeah, nah, man. not no more. Yeah, so what do you think of the shit that you, you know, putting out now and how you going with your flow? Like? Man, I feel like I feel like I took it another level than he was able to get to. For real. And I think he really really proud of me with the music shit, honestly. Um he's probably like one of my biggest supporters with it. So yeah, no, it's a good thing for sure. Yeah, man, that's all the way what's up, man. I mean, so what would you say like I don't know, has inspired you to keep making music right now while you're in college. Cause we know, mm-hmm. hey, for all y'all don't that don't know, bro, we is posted on the college campus. So yeah. All of us is in school right Post now. It. You know what I mean? Yeah. We we yeah. all in the road type shit, man. Yeah. That you want to do music while you out here, bro. Well, you know, like where I'm from, I feel like we don't really got that. So big uh, let me let me backtrack. Big part of me really coming down here was being able to bring it back to the city. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um I feel like my city really don't got the right attention, we don't got the right ears, and yeah. we don't support each other the right way. So yeah. like I feel like if I'm able to bring it down here and bring it back, I feel like that's um that that'd be a, that's a mission that I that's that's my mission, you know. Yeah, what I'm yeah to bring something back yeah, home, bring it back home, and really put everybody else on the map because we got some talent. Yeah, like, for sure. Don't get it twisted. We got some talent, but yeah, you don't um, ever hear about Minnesota. Too you don't Minnesota. hear about it. You yeah, don't yeah. hear about it. You know, so yeah, that's something that I that's like my mission for real. Shit, what about you, Yappa? 
Talk about the M, man. Talk about being from the M and being in school here, man. What do doing music outside of your city mean to you? You know what I mean? Like, because I know it's a lot of niggas that do music in the M. And you know, love, bro. We got like, to me, we got the most talented niggas. And I feel like with me, because I just started doing music when I made yeah. hit maker on God. Yeah. I just started rapping. I always knew I could do that shit. Yeah, yeah. But then when I heard him, I was like, damn, this nigga hard. I, I can fuck around and take this shit serious. Yeah. And go somewhere with this. Damn. That's crazy. So, like, even though it's all that talent inside Memphis, somebody from somewhere else inspired you to bring it out of yourself. Yeah, because I always knew it was in me. I just didn't know what to do with it. Yeah, yeah, that's tap. So, how, talk about your relationship a little bit. I know we talked about off camera. Let the people yeah. know how y'all linked up and shit. Shit, really linked up. Freshman year of college. Uh, y'all juniors now? Shit, seniors. Seniors. Big seniors. Shit. Oh, God. But, uh, yeah, we linked up freshman year. Shit, I just. I don't know. This this nigga really just been he been by my side whole time. So solid shit, yeah. Yeah, okay. you know what I'm saying? Just solid whole time and you know, when it comes down to it, um he got that Memphis flow. You know what I'm saying? I got yeah. that and I got that up north flow. So like we was like shit, we might as well just attack on this motherfucker together because it's That's gonna, hard to put together yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you know, you you hear niggas who sound alike on, on tracks, but when you yeah. put two different sounds together it's it's really like a dynamic duo. It's yeah, crazy. Yeah, y'all from it's two crazy. different motherfucking cities. Yeah, yeah for real. Yeah, for real. <laughs> totally two different nah, cities. Nah, for real. Yeah. Crazy. And then, yeah. I never even been nowhere near Minnesota, bro. So what, right on. what the fuck is y'all? What border is y'all, bro? What do what y'all buy? Like, what's Minnesota? Don't know. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Like, <laughs> it's like yeah. Geography, yeah. not that yeah. great, bro. Y'all yeah. know cool. We up north with it. Like, literally, like, we at the top. You know yeah, what I'm saying? By Canada type By shit. Canada. Like, so y'all, uh, y'all north of Michigan? Y'all west, uh, like northeast of Michigan. We west? west, we west of Michigan, but like it's like you know the Michigan Lake, right? That, yeah. that big yeah. ass lake. We on the other side of that shit. Okay. Yup. God damn, man. Ain't hey, Prince from there? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know I mean, we got the Mall of America. You know what I'm saying? We got, we got some, we got some shit. It's just all the way up there. So. I definitely do got some yeah, shit. Yeah. I will say that. Bro. Yeah. That's what's up though. What so, what made you? I might like, you asked the same question after him. What made you come down to Nashville? Like, why made y'all come to Nashville? Uh. Well, I'm just for for one, I'm I'm a smart nigga, so I always yeah. knew I was going to college. Like that was not even a question for me, um, but I knew I wanted to go to HBCU as well. Yeah. So, you know, I, I I used to go on uh, my senior year in, in uh, high school. I used to go on these college tours and shit. I came I came to TSU and I just love the campus. Yeah. So it just felt real like right, honestly. Yeah. Like I was just like shit. This is spot. I and you agree. know Nashville, one of them places where you could really travel all over the place, mm-hmm. and it's like a real you know center point. Mm-hmm. You know, four hours from a whole bunch of different cities, big cities. Hell yeah, so you know, Atlanta, four yeah. hours away. Yeah, yeah. Damn it. Like, and I yeah. tell people all the time, Nashville is rapidly evolving when yeah. it comes to music. Yeah, it is. not just like just the lifestyle of Nashville, but music as well. So this is the perfect place for like up and coming mm-hmm. artists to grow yeah. and evolve for sure. No, for sure. Mm-hmm. City, I'm good. Yeah. I'm good. yeah. Say what? No, like mine totally different. Like I ain't even gonna lie. Yeah. I just love T S U. Okay then. Man, look. Being from Memphis you probably got a whole different outlook on it. Though. We know how T S U is yeah. from Memphis type shit. You you go to T S U, you gotta be lit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like I was like, damn. I don't know what school I'm finna go to. I know I'm finna graduate high school. Yeah. Everybody talking about TSU turn, and at the time I felt like I was the most turned nigga. So Hell yeah! Shit, oh god! Man, oh god! Five years later, TSU. Why high school you graduated from? I went to the boys, bro. Oh yeah, it's a charter school. It's yeah. shut down. R.I.P. the boys, man. Damn. Man, they shut down. Damn. It was one of the one shots too with the ties type shit. On ties, me. nigga. Cardigans, what? bro. That's how I came up to it. Come on, bro. Straight <laughs> uniform. That was my K through eight all the way, man. The Oxford Blue Damn. with the navy tie, the khakis, man. So yeah. I, know, I ain't did that so shit you, in high school. I was gonna say you from the city, so what school did you go to? I went to Phoenix. Phoenix Community uh, Learning Center. It's a no, charter no, school. That shit no, sound hard. Phoenix, Phoenix, <laughs> yeah. Phoenix but like Phoenix, 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 like I was plugged in because my godmom was the superintendent. So uh, like I ain't never really had to do as much as everybody else really. My mom was the secretary. So like, uh, imagine getting in trouble at school and you don't go to the detention, you go to the office and the mama should yeah. sit right there working. You know? I know how it is, bro. My mama a principal. <laughs> My mom educated too. Yeah, I know it. You get trouble, man. You get in trouble for real. Oh God, because you making me look bad. You know what I'm saying? Like, she gonna punish you not like her child, like a student. <laughs> she getting punished in both areas. Yeah, for real, for real, man. That's some, hey, that's some real shit. And hey, what would you say that? Uh, how do that factor into you know your uh, yo you seeking education? Because a lot of niggas want to be in college, especially mm-hmm. from the home. 
Like, you know what I mean? Like, niggas want to straight go to college. Motherfuckers want to stay in the streets for real. Man, you know what? I always knew I had a different mentality from most people from my city. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And, like, rap is just, like, an art that I knew I had. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And it's just all about getting it done. You know what I'm saying? See, like, once I, once I come up off this shit. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? You got you to gotta show folks that you ain't got to be all gangsta and hood and yeah. killing niggas from, you yeah. know how Memphis is, I'm saying? Yeah. You ain't got to be out hood and gangsta and shit to go get you some money, bro. You go get you some money and change your city. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You're trying to change yeah. your city in a whole different way. Yeah. I'm trying to change my city in a whole different way as well. Yeah, yeah, straight sure. like this. It's fast. Dang, y'all both trying to change the city. That's, a, that's yeah. actually, it's an honorable thing to say for real, for real. You know what I mean? Because most niggas not really trying to go that deep with it. Most motherfuckers just want to get them some money. You know, give them some clout, you maybe some like cool clothes or whatever type yeah. shit, cribble, but like niggas not really trying to bring change back. Y'all yeah. keep saying that a lot, so like kudos to y'all for that for real. Sure. Yeah. Shout out to y'all cities too. Shout out Minneapolis, shout out Minneapolis guy. <laughs> like, shout out in town, Memphis in New York. No, no one, come on. Hell yeah, man. So like how would you say that you describe your music here make it easy? Because I ain't a lot of definitely heard like a few different, you know, type of songs yeah. from you, but it seemed like the consistency of it have been on some like Talking to the ladies type shit. With the yeah, guy. yeah, yeah. Describe? I don't know. I always cater to the ladies because, I mean, they don't want to go on pay. You know what I'm saying? Here, yeah. real not talk, for real. For you know? real. They don't want to go on pay. Yeah. I'm not rapping to no nigga. That's just me. Period. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, that's fact. But, uh, shit, I mean, I feel like my music is, is versatile, honestly. I say, like, I'm into the R&B pocket. Yeah. Um, I'm also into the straight rap shit. Like, Hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? I like, I just like music in general. Yeah. yeah. Music in general, like it can go either way with it. I feel like lyrically, uh, there's not too many people holding holding me. Oh, uh, okay. That's so really like, how I feel. Like, you gotta be. You know what I'm saying? Like, you gotta be. Really, like your shit, bro. Yeah, you gotta yeah. keep it rock. No, that's really how I feel. So I mean, shit. When it comes to the music, down, I think shit. I got a lot to offer. So Damn, man. I got a lot to offer. No cap. That was up. So yeah. you ain't just inside one place with it. Nah, man. nah. Y'all plug, plug, gang. Man, describe my music. I yeah. say like. I say like, of course I got a Memphis flow, you know what I'm saying? But naturally, yeah, naturally, natural. just naturally. But of course, I'm gonna come out with the Memphis flow, some shit that they know they, you know what I'm saying, kebab to, can rock yeah. their head to. But me, I'm I'm different. Like Memphis artists, they usually stay in the same pocket of rap, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They stay in the same pocket, they flow with everything. So yeah. me, I can switch that shit up, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm yeah. versatile too, just like cuz, and then you know yeah. what I'm saying, like. We know we we listen to all type of music. Hell yeah. Not just not just gangster rap. Not know? just okay, saying, so. yo. What else y'all yeah. listen to that nigga the niggas would be surprised by on the rap side? What y'all put with? Man, shit. I'd say cause Memphis niggas, all we listen to is Memphis niggas. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, that's, that's why I'm curious. curious. That's yeah, curious. see like I like dabbling like, you know, Travis Scott, Playboy Cardi, some okay, different yeah, stuff, like, you know what I'm saying? But it's, of course yeah. like Memphis niggas, we like the hardest. Like the conscious niggas, niggas and Coles, Dot, K Dots. Of course, like my favorite rapper is Kendrick Lamar. No, oh, I got my favorite rapper Future, but back then my favorite rapper was Kendrick Lamar. Kendrick like retired now. I don't know what he got going. On. Yo, he's supposed <laughs> to drop some shit soon. He ain't dropped them down there in five years. This nigga on some weird shit. <laughs> I don't know what he got going on. He got that pull-up and pride and said, I'm sitting down. There ain't no <laughs> nigga ever got that shit for rap. He said, I did some history. I'm about to go sit down. Come that, back I feel him though. Yeah, he gonna come back harder though. I feel it's him. been like five years for real. Yeah. 2017 was a minute ago. Dude, man. We waiting. We waiting. We ready for the K. Hey, man, we ready for you, K. Dot, man. Yeah, come back, sure. man. Real niggas waiting to hear your shit, man. Hey, I ain't gonna lie, man. This is actually a good ass episode so far too. And I like how you niggas like coming with it. So talk about like a little bit on the uh, business aspect of it, like where y'all plan to go with the music and how you uh, do your marketing. Yeah, shit, we got IG a lot too. Yeah, I, I mean, for me, everybody's scheme is different, you know. And uh, we still like in the in the stages of building right now, just like y'all, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, so for every sure. every everything that we doing is is being built up. That's but, the number, uh, for sure. Shit. Hey, we all we keeping the road, man. Yeah. We got some live content, got to get the dough. Like I said, we on some uh, we on some shit with it on canvas, man. So hey. Stay tapped in. Like. Make it even better. Uh, Are they really on campus with it? Yeah, we really students on God. You feel me? Come on, Come on in. Come on in. Go ahead, go ahead. Come on in. Go ahead. 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 Yeah, y'all got the goddamn. I got the slide over the other goddamn. I will eat good too. No, bro. They got whole meals, goddamn. Oh, yeah. Slide. What's the good again? 
Hell nah, man. Hey, man, real shit. Real shit. <laughs> we got the rest of the hitters in this motherfucker. Oh, God. We got a team in this bitch. We need this fuck. That's all. Oh, no, no, no. Hey, y'all want to change? Oh, my fault, bro. That's what we're going to do. See, y'all want to You want to smoke? Mm-hmm. You want to smoke? I can't. <laughs> I can't say that on camera, but I, I got a story for y'all later on. Oh, yeah, got a story for y'all later on. Nigga, yeah. this shit right here. Y'all see this? That's a hard Oh, look, I got a mushroom one, too, though. I ain't going to I'm really into it. Look my ashtray right here. I got a couple Rick and Morty drunks, you feel me? Oh, bro, I got a couple Rick and Morty drunks, too. Bro. Yeah, I've been trying to get, like, the ashtray collection for real, for real, God damn it. But yeah, nah, what we was talking about, my bad, uh, YouTube, sorry for that weird cut, but we tapped back in, man. Yeah. We got Yapo on that hoe, man. We got Hit Make It Easy on that hoe, man. We got Nay Beezy in that hoe. Y'all know I'm Tan from the Coast, man. Tap podcast. I was just asking the brothers, man, what the fuck going on on the business side, how they do their marketing and shit like that before we, you know, cut out for a second. Hey, yeah, shit, and, that, and that's just something we building right now, you know, and consistently coming up with content and staying in people's face, that's really what we, that's what we are um, angling towards, yeah. and you know, it's coming though, like, videos, uh, photo shoots, uh, we got merch coming, we got all that, honestly, oh, yeah. we got a whole bunch of different shit coming, and, uh, it's only up, honestly, it's only I, up I can't even care, it's only up, yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't gonna yeah. lie, fuck with it, yeah, it's getting exciting, you know what I'm saying, we building a team behind it, and everything's coming together, yeah, how would you, uh, you know, describe, like, the roles y'all play at the end? Like, what role would you, y'all play individual roles? Y'all a team, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I know y'all both ain't gonna do exactly the same thing. Y'all just gonna move to the same beat. What role would you say that you play that's different than the role you play? Man, that's a good-ass question. That's a good question. Oh, God. What role do I play that's different from the role that he play? Yo. Well, I was really, I don't know, bro. I would have to say, if this is something that I can do, that I know that, they feel more comfortable with me doing rather yeah. than them. Yeah, it's like, gonna get done. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I can't say that I play a specific role different versus the rest of my niggas. They got some different roles actually. Like we got an engineer and photographer. Yeah, 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 yeah. He a rapper and I'm a rapper. So it's kinda, you know what I'm saying, kinda go hand in hand. We kinda team up on some business shit, Hell what yeah. we gotta do. But we definitely do have teammates that play a different role from us. Hell yeah. So Hell yeah. So, would y'all say it's an importance to the team, man? Like, Hell yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 our team is like the coaches. Yeah. Our team bring, we really, everybody really got their pocket. And we, like, the everybody, when you you bring everybody together, that shit, is like, make the whole thing go. That's fine. You know what I'm saying? Everything go. So, like I said, it's coming. It's coming. It's like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So, it's only up. Hey, man, pay attention, man. Yeah. My nigga said they got a lot of shit coming. Man. A lot they of want to stay tapped in. Man. A lot drop those mushrooms, man. Drop those mushrooms. Man, man drop those mushrooms. Drop, drop Come on. We're gonna play, we gonna play, we probably going to play that. We're probably going to play that shit back one more time, too, before we get up out of here, too, just so y'all can hear that man in the half. And Otto, like, talk to him about the content that y'all got coming on the music side. Yeah. yeah. Niggas about to hear a project. Yeah, I ain't going to lie. Yo, snippets. Yeah. Yo, covers that I've been hearing, bro, they all fire through. Crazy. Man, I know I know your fans looking for something. Crazy. I know you're looking for something. Yeah, uh shit, we got uh my first track dropping real soon. It's probably gonna drop sometime this month. Yeah. Um I'm gonna announce the date yeah. soon. Yeah, uh, yeah, y'all heard it here first on the time yeah. podcast. He dropping some shit this he month. Heard it. Uh Flight the Flight, you know what I'm saying? That's that's the first one we dropping, Flight the Flight. And yeah. I, that's a that's a I feel like it, it got the up north. Little little feeling because yeah. it's an up north feeling with a Memphis feeling. Yeah. Honestly, it's a good mix of the south yeah. and the north, which is kind of how I'm living life right now. Yeah, I'm back and forth with it. So and I'm not gonna lie, yeah. I, I fuck with that mindset a lot yeah. because I'm kind of doing the same thing. Yeah, you know, I'm already know in Cincinnati, bro. Yeah, yeah. Like, I'm like, I fuck with the M. You know what yeah. I mean? I've been to the M so many. I've been to the M more times than I can count, bro. Yeah, like just because it's right there, and I know so many people from there. So being here since a freshman, I don't went to Memphis probably like. At least twenty times for like mm-hmm. I ain't gonna lie, and I fuck with it. Like, Damn, like, what you were doing to him? Shit, I go, I got a couple little you feel me, home girls from out there. Really, I've been like, they really home like girls or they I went home to the, girls. I went, they got him some little jacks in the yeah. young girls. Yeah, 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 about the Memphis women, but like, I don't know what it is. I, don't, I really can't, I can't describe it for real, for real, bro. But like, yo, I ain't gonna lie, Memphis is one of those places where you can really go and just like navigate your own way, even though there's so much other shit going on. Like, you really can like do your own thing in Memphis, even though it's like a lot of shit going on. But if you stay out the way, you can stay out the way in Memphis, and I ain't know that for real. I thought it was just like crazy. Like, you really can stay out the way in that shit. There's some nice ass parts to that. Like, That's because niggas don't know how to stay out the way in Memphis. 
For real? Man. Niggas don't know how to stay out the way. You grow up and everybody just wild and shit. You just yeah. end up in that wild shit too. Yeah. I feel like it's like that inside my city too, for real. That's why niggas don't leave. Like niggas don't leave Cincinnati because they get too comfortable there, for real. For real. Mm-hmm. I tell people all the time, if you're there until the age of twenty five in Cincinnati, you not leaving. Like, no, not but real. I feel like that's any any place. That's honestly, anywhere, yeah. if you there until the age of twenty five, you not leaving. Yeah, you gonna be there for a while. Yeah, <laughs> like forever. Honestly. Yeah. Damn, man, that's crazy. Y'all from two completely different cities. Both start I mean, with the letter L and y'all really yeah, can't go. Tr- it took me a minute to be like, I was like, damn, this nigga really from Minnesota. <laughs> <laughs> that shit. Like, I, ain't, I ain't know nothing about Minnesota. I just know it's cold as hell. Yeah, that's all I, that's really all I fucking know about Minnesota. I really want to go to Mall of America and they yeah. got some like Universal Studios, Nickelodeon shit there yeah. too. Yeah. I want to go to all that shit, bro. Yeah. Like, shit, they really just put a new everything in that motherfucker. I ain't gonna cap. That bitch nice. Really? They put two hotels on that motherfucker. Like, God yeah. damn. Yeah, it's huge. Yeah, it really is. Good. It really is the mall of America, no cap. Like, really, it's, it's like the best mall in the country. It's like, the biggest mall in the country. Yeah, that shit crazy. Yeah, I really want to go out there, honestly, for real. For mm-hmm. real, like, I'm gonna have to take a trip out there. Shit, summer. I think everybody need to take a trip out there. For real, for me, it's it's not it's not it's not what people think it is. It, it's, it's a good vibe. Damn. Damn. So you know like, saying? how would you say like your hometown? Cause I I already know he is. You feel me? Yeah, like, yeah. How would you say your hometown? Uh, affected like the music you make then like I know you got the up north flowing shit but yeah. I really never really heard no music yeah. from out of your city for real so how right. how do your city affect your music or would you say it don't <clears throat> you from other up north cities more like I think what I can say is coming down here my flow has evolved and I'm capable of going slower now because okay. you know like we speak real fluent up there mm-hmm. so like yeah, people always yeah. tell me I talk fast yeah, 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 yeah me too yeah, me too you know too. what I'm saying like it's just it's easy to speak it's fluent and Coming down here, you know, you the tempo is slowed down. Yeah, you know, and so if you able to, for me, you know, you put both of them together, I then it's like you don't know which which way I'm gonna hop on that motherfucker. Like, yeah. it's yeah. interesting. It is like, interesting. It's interesting. Like, is he gonna hop? It on makes a, it fun. That yeah, is, fun. is it is yeah. he gonna hop on the on the on the uh, southern flow? Is he gonna do his home home shit? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's it's cool though. I think, uh, yeah, it's cool. Okay, that that actually. That speak a lot of volume for real, for real. Just say, just because really don't I really don't know nobody musical that came out of there besides Prince. To be honest, yeah. I can't really. And he an R and B singer. Exactly, mm-hmm. like yeah. R and B rock pop, pop. type yeah. nigga. Like, and yeah. really, I don't really. I gotta look it up and see if there's any rappers from there that I don't know about. Probably is honestly, but I gotta really look into it for real. Damn. So individually, I can answer together. But like, what would y'all say, or who would y'all say y'all inspired by uh, musically? I know you. Outside of Memphis, for real, for real, I know it's probably a lot of Memphis vets that you fuck with, like, the niggas that's doing music right now, but, like, who would y'all say that, uh, fuck, it could be niggas from Memphis, too, or where y'all from, but, like, cause I know I got, like, shit. top three rappers, you feel me, yeah. top three this, shit, like, yeah, that, yeah, like, shit, it's a list of niggas, like, J. Cole, Lil Wayne, Rick Ross, for sure, the yeah. way Rick Ross flowing that shit is too smooth, Rick Ross has slept on, man. yeah, yeah, like, as an MC, yeah, and it's, and I, I for me, like, I like talking business, Okay. And that's what Rick Ross be on. He talk a lot of business. He talk a lot of business. Lot of business. So I, so I like that shit. Smooth, too. you know what I'm saying? So yeah, 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 yeah. you know what I'm saying. Delivery go crazy. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and I so. also down south shit. I like, I like Duke Deuce a lot. I Duke Deuce. Oh yeah, Duke Deuce. I, hard. Like I like Duke Deuce because he he able to he got his pocket and he's able to keep the tempo. You you, you know stay down to the like beat. This. You know how to keep. Yeah, you know what exactly. I'm saying? You stay like this the whole the, the whole track. Time. You know what I'm saying? So I yeah no there's there's a group of niggas who I really follow. Future one of them too, of course. Yeah. Everybody is inspired by Future. Like, I think he said Future and Kendrick earlier. Did Future like when I want if when I really want to go lyrical, I say Kendrick for sure because yeah. he was like my favorite lyrical rapper. Yeah. But down south, definitely Future. Yeah. Maybe a little bit in Memphis. I fuck with Cold Cash a lot. Okay. Then, I yeah. really fuck with Cold Cash because one his vocabulary is different from the rest of these Memphis. Yeah, Cash and I feel like there's like a lot with me, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I also fuck with I fuck with Big Scar too. Big Scar. I like his flow. Yeah, man. I was on stage with Big Scar out there. That shit was pretty decent. Yeah, that shit was lit. Oh, yeah, I was up in the <laughs> club with y'all. Yeah, yeah. that shit was turned. Yeah. Everybody shit. was teed up in there for real, for real. Drunk as hell. <laughs> oh God, that was one of the best nights of homecoming. Oh God. I was speaking on the hell, yeah. Who's your favorite rapper, bro? Shit. I got. Really, I got like a top three. My top three had to be Wayne, no order, Wayne, uh, Andre 3000, 
for mm-hmm. sure. Yeah. Don't nobody rap like him ever. 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 Like ever. And, uh, Biggie. Because you ain't never gonna get another one of him. You're not. Yeah, it's a lot. Wayne, there's some people you not getting another them. Right? Yeah. yeah, I like them niggas because they just cater like they all know what they doing every time. And I feel like Andre really, Andre probably my favorite one, just because he like a he like a rap unicorn. You don't even see this nigga no more. He just walk around playing a flute for real. For Ain't gonna lie, bro. They see him. <laughs> they see him, but he just he just moves. He like play the flute, man. Nigga, he just man. walk around playing the flute at festivals and shit. He like play, wait, he do that for real? I swear to God. Yo, he be walking around with a flute, bro, playing, playing out. He, don't, he said he don't even want to rap no more. He said that shit is it, literally too easy for him. Yeah. Like, it's not a challenge. Yeah. Like, it's not a challenge at all because the nigga was so cold at it. So he just want to play instruments and, like, meet motherfuckers and shit. Facts. Like, shit, hopefully I can get to that point where I feel like that shit too easy. But, like, I'm on some homie shit with it. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> no, for real. No, for real. Like, world takeover shit. Like, <laughs> yeah, I'm on some homie shit with it. I know it. Yeah, but that, that's yeah. Y'all fuck with lyrical people and y'all fuck with like stylish people, yeah. like you know, new yeah. generation stuff. Yeah. So y'all got a lot of people that go into y'all flow then. Like, mm-hmm. damn. So you said I got merch coming, y'all got photo shoots coming, and new music coming. Yeah. Uh, who y'all on the? You know, who y'all waiting to hear? Who y'all waiting to hear drop? Y'all got any artists that y'all waiting to drop? Like any of y'all homeboys? It could be niggas that's in the industry. Like who y'all waiting to hear right now? That's music wise. What y'all got a taste for? Man. I ain't gonna cap Roddy Rich. Mm-hmm. That, I ain't gonna cap. Hey, you just said it right there. No, nah, because yeah, Roddy that it. Roddy that nigga for sure. Mm-hmm. No, he cap. ain't dropping them in two years, guys. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. So every time he dropped, it's some crazy. It's some big, yeah. Crazy mm-hmm. shit. Yeah. That's an shit. Old. I'm waiting on Roddy too, but yeah. I probably have to say Kendrick for sure because yeah, I Kendrick. feel like the shit he did with Baby Key. That was letting people know, like, yeah. He's still here. I'm coming back. Yeah, yeah I'm still, here. Like, he's what? still here, yeah. yeah that was on some most of your top five. Like, this man said he ain't went nowhere. Yeah, he was basically letting them know, like, I'm still here. Don't get it twisted. Bro. Like, because niggas are trying to count him out and shit. Like, write him, write him off like his legacy over type shit. Like, now, nah, nigga chilling. He probably, like, raising a kid. Y'all don't know nothing about or something mm-hmm. like that. Like, you know, kicking it. Like, That's like cold though. He keep his family, and I can respect that too. They both got kids. Man, like, they both got he kids. keep his family out of it. Like it's just, it's just J Cole. Like we barely see his kids, barely see his significant see other. Cause I don't even know if it's his wife, girlfriend, fiance. I don't even bro, know. Both so. them niggas married with kids. You're not about to see their wife or kids. But that's they, respectful. They that though. famous, bro. Like, they on that level type shit. You ain't never gonna see their wife and kids. Unless you want them to. Right. But, like, you ain't gonna see their ass for real. Kendrick used to hit the red carpet with his. He don't even do that no more. Mm-hmm. She be in crib with the babies type shit. Like, yo, I ain't gonna lie to you. How far y'all wanna take it? Because we talking about people that done took it there. You know what I mean? Yeah. Them niggas either been nominated mm-hmm. for Grammys or got them type shit. Mm-hmm. So, like, how far y'all wanna take this rap shit? Like, shit, I'm trying to take it up there too. Like, yeah. honestly, I, I just feel like talent wise, it's there, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Hunger-wise, it's there. Yeah. All of that, everything I feel like is needed is there. The mm-hmm. only thing is exposure, honestly, yeah, yeah. you know, exposure. And I feel mm-hmm. like once that exposure is there, once yeah, motherfuckers, yeah, yeah. motherfuckers understand what we build and what we capable of, yeah. just everything, I think the ball really gonna get rolling and yeah, gonna, yeah. it's gonna open some eyes. See, I can see it. I yeah. Know, I fuck with the vision already. I yeah. Know. And I don't even, what's, what's the name of y'all? What's the? Shit, Out the Box Entertainment. Out the Box. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah. OTV. Yeah. OTV. OTV. I fuck yeah. with it. <laughs> OTV shit. I mean. That's lit. Sure. Man, tap in, man. OTV shit, man. Tap podcast collab. Yeah. Y'all see what's going on. Thanks. How far you want to take it, Apple? Man, I just want to take it as far as I can keep on growing. You yeah. like Right now, I feel like my potential is like unlimited, unlimited, uncapped. You know what I mean. And then once I reach, you know what I'm saying. If I feel like I can keep going harder, once I reach a point to where I'm like, this is it. This is all I give. Yeah. This is all I can get to the game type shit. Yeah. Then I'm drop the ball. You know yeah. what I'm saying. Okay. Yeah. But as long as I can keep growing, I'm growing. You know what I'm saying. That's what's up. That's what's up. That's exactly what I like to hear, bro. Yeah, it's sure. right like that, and I feel like I'm one of them niggas that's gonna keep growing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's the key word, growing. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Growth is a powerful growth. word, bro. Yeah. You don't even pay attention to the word growth. That's yeah. a real thing. Yeah, and yeah. yeah. growing is dead. Yeah. 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 Like, it's very like that. Exactly, man. And then the crazy thing is, when you apply growth to every, you know, corner and aspect of your life, bro, like, shit, it's only a matter of time for you to see everything that you want to see. You know what I mean? Cause yeah. Like, like, growth ain't just like a, it ain't one strain. It's multiple strains of growth. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Like, you don't just grow in one area at a time. Yeah. You grow in multiple places at once. You don't even realize when you're growing sometimes. Like, 
So you only you, you literally can't see if you're getting taller. But see that's the taller. best feeling though. Like when you don't notice that you're growing, but you like you don't feel that you're growing. I should yeah. say, but you you see it like and you see the fruits of your labor. Like that's yeah. the best feeling in the world. Yeah. The best feeling in the world. Yeah. Not for real. Yeah, yeah, man. Hey, y'all believe in y'all selves, man. So I definitely believe in y'all. You feel me? Yeah. Take it, you know, y'all real niggas believe in themselves, man. I fuck with a motherfucker that got confidence for real, for real. Mm -hmm. So shit, I know y'all can take it as far as y'all want to take yeah. it on some real shit. Just keep pushing. Just keep doing what y'all doing right now. Shit, go harder though. Yeah, yeah. Go harder as y'all need to. You feel me? Uh, like, no, no, you feel me? Like, till y'all get to where y'all want to be. Like, rest is essential with shit. When you want to come up, like, we trying to get it, man. Rest is limited. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, I ain't gonna lie, that's some real shit, so. Yeah, just go as hard as y'all need to, bro. It's gonna turn out. So I definitely believe it, man. Yeah, yeah. Damn, y'all got any drink collapse? Damn, bro. Got a drink collapse? Shit. Hell yeah, no fun. <laughs> <laughs> shit, if I get one with if I get one with Drake, uh, yeah. who the fuck wouldn't want one no, with Drake? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Drake. I'm saying I'll take one with uh Roddy, of course. Yo. I hop on like that, singing R and B by okay, Roddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. No cap. And I mean okay. shit. Yeah. Oh, let's talk money shit. Ooh. Let's talk money shit. Like that be all. You just saw you said a bunch of legends right there. I'm saying, mm -hmm. nah, them is some dream collabs for sure. Yeah, man, I'm saying for sure Drake. Yeah, oh, yeah. who not saying Drake? Yeah, yeah. Drake is some shit. Exactly. Future, yes. same with Future. Actually, I I want Drake and Future on the same track. Mm -hmm. Like okay. if I had like you know what I'm saying one dream. Yeah, yeah. Me, Drake, and Future on one track like this. That's loud, that's loud. If I had another one to say, I'd probably say Lil Baby. Okay. Like, Lil Baby rapper, I'd be like, damn, I gotta go crazy. Lil yeah. Baby gonna make, you know what I'm saying, he gonna make me reach a different level of potential. I'd be like, damn, Shoot. you feel me? Yeah, that's, can't get washed. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Lil you Baby, you, you know what I'm saying? You gotta, you gotta rap. Man, I gotta say Lil Wayne. Oh, yeah. For sure. I yeah. gotta work with Wayne. I, and I need one with Jay-Z. Before he done, before he hang the mic up, I need something with Ho. Like, so I'll just say it, I need a damn. I need something with Ho. I need a damn track <laughs> produced by Kanye. For sure. Mm -hmm. That's what that's I need. That's, 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 that's easier to get than a verse from Ho. Man. You feel me? Kanye, the, Kanye is fuck it? with it. Yes, Kanye. Is it for real? Yeah, I don't, yes. I don't, I don't know if it is. I don't know, though. bro. Yeah. I think it just is, this is complicated for real. Yeah. I, don't I really don't know because I like, think about it. Kanye. Future got a song with Kanye, right? I mean, no, no, no. Future got a song with Jay Z, right? Yeah. With DJ Khaled now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can Future get a Kanye beat? I don't know. I don't Future got a uh, Kanye beat. He probably that he trophy. Beat. But it's because Kanye is a song. Yeah, of course, of course. But I, I feel like if Future get Kanye one. right now, Kanye would be like, man, but Kanye, Kanye my own shit. Kanye bougie as hell, though. You feel That's what I'm saying. Very. Kanye bougie as fuck. Yeah. Jay-Z only rocking with you. Like, you definitely either got to be sad to him, or he got to really like you as a person. Mm -hmm. But he don't let you to work with your ass. So that's why it's hard to get a hold, bro. I feel like Kanye, even if you don't, Kanye just do shit to do shit, you know what I mean? Like, you do whatever you feel like make him look cool. So you want to make you a beat because it's going to make him look cool, he'll do that yeah, shit. Yeah, shit. But yeah. like, Jay-Z ain't going to do that shit just to make him look cool. He only going to do what you feel with you. Like, I want to work with Hov. I don't know. Like, that nigga just... I feel he you. talk business too. Like, he yeah, talk yeah. business that nah, way. He do. Like, he do. Yeah, yeah, he do. He like, the, he like, is the business, you know what I mean? Yeah, that nigga just got inducted to Rock and Roll Hall. Shit. Yeah. I know they ain't see that coming. Man, I just want I want to have a conversation with Hov. Really straight up. That's that's more. I would need need a verse with him. I just want to have a conversation with him. <laughs> yeah, on me. That's what I want. It's he, coming though. It's coming though. Yeah, he one of the ones yeah. to have a combo with. Gotta yeah. talk to Hov. It's coming. Shit for real, for real. I say Hov combo wise. I say Hov, Puff. Shit, I want to talk to Mark Cuban. Uh, Mark Cuban. I didn't be friends with dude because <laughs> like, he knows some shit. All his, shit. all his friends know some shit. You know what what I mean? would you like since both of y'all want to like talk to Jay? Which I, who would y'all ask him? You know what I'm saying? Man. You got a question? Shit. Really? If I could ask if I had him. one question. One question? I mean, you know what I'm saying? Your first question. For you. Shit. First question. I don't even know. That's a hard question. That's, that's a hard question. Like, question. Like, I'm saying, that's, that's a hard question. It's your dream. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? You sitting uh, right in front of me. You're like, all right, I'm Jay-Z. What's up? You know what I'm saying? On God. Like, what you on God. think about that? <laughs> I don't know. I was like, damn, <laughs> shit, you right. I don't even know. What's <laughs> up? <laughs> yeah, I don't, exactly. Like, yeah. you don't know what to say. That's fucking Jay-Z. You know what I mean? Like, I probably I ain't going to lie. First thing that come to my head, I'd be like, what's your drive? Like, what's your motive? Mm -hmm. Because... I feel like Jay-Z could have stopped getting money years ago. Yeah. He signing NBA players and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like Kyrie Irving. 
yeah. Katie. You, can buy he still, you know what I'm saying? Like, you could have been, like, sat been, down and been, been rich the rest of your life. Yeah. Dude, like, yeah, that is true for real. If I find out where Jay's drive, it's like, oh, yeah, that's going to change my life. Yeah. He, he do got to have an insane amount of drive to be still making millions and billions of dollars mm-hmm. every year. Yeah. He got that cheese already. If you yeah. Mean, like, it's probably the kids, though. Um, know some shit like that like honestly yeah. who i would want to have a conversation with y'all and don't judge me don't judge me mm-hmm. cardi b that woman is so intelligent especially yeah. when it comes to politics you don't see many like yeah. black artists just talking blatantly about politics like and knowing they shit about politics yeah, like she's smart, she smart as hell and like she give off that persona like this yeah. dumb stripper bitch type of you see what I'm saying? But she yeah. intelligent as yeah. fuck. Well. That's marketing. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I, I would say yeah. like Cardi B probably has one of the most powerful marketing inside modern day music just because like she do. She does, she like the top selling female artist of this decade, technically. Mm-hmm. Because technically, yeah. You know, yeah, technically yeah, 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 like yeah. even though it's the digital streaming, whatever the fuck you wanna say, nigga Bodak Yellow, nigga WAP, that shit with ASAP Rocky and uh G Easy, mm-hmm. like that shit with twenty one Sap. Look all the shit she dropped go number one. Yeah. Everything that went number one, bro. Like, and yeah, I think about it. WAP, how the hell WAP won the Grammy, bro? Mm-hmm. During the pandemic. A Let's Grammy. start there. Wop. During the pandemic, wop. though. Clubs were shut though. down. Parties <laughs> wasn't happening. Yo. That way, that's the perfect time to drop WAP. No, that is. Like, that's the that perfect time during the pandemic. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's stuck in the house. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Went crazy on TikTok. Went crazy on TikTok. What else? She got that other song, uh, up that oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. that shit went, oh, like, yeah, that shit yeah, already yeah. like five or six times platinum like that shit on the way to be a diamond nigga like, and that song with Normani uh, that she did wild yeah, wild side all her shit go platinum like yeah. quick immediately bro she got one of the craziest fan bases she was on a song with Maroon 5 with number one for like 10 weeks yeah you feel know I me mean? like she really like got the most hit record out of all the female artists right now so I can see why you want to talk to them because she don't drop consistently y'all people she only got mm-hmm. one album and that came out almost five years ago. Mm-hmm. And ain't nobody even peep. You know what I mean? Like, it's been damn near five years since Cardi dropped. Yeah. Yo, almost five years since she dropped the album. But them singles, and her keep getting pregnant, and you feel me all that? Like, her. I was going to say, too, she, she's life. a mom, too. Yeah, like, like, that, that's respectable. Like, yeah, like, she, she don't got to even drop like that. Because like, mm-hmm. she's taking care of her kids and shit. Like, just dropping singles, making cheese. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. I'll take it there for real, for real. I fuck with it. Rap politics and shit. That's some real shit. And I can tell y'all niggas like music too. For y'all, y'all probably will really pay a lot of attention to shit too. That's what's up. Hey, you got to. Yeah, so. You got to. Yeah. Especially yeah. if you want to go that far. Right. You got to at least like, have an idea of what's going you on. You got to study this shit. Really? Yo. It's That's a game. Cool. For real. <laughs> it really is a game. No, for real. Yeah, man. But like, kudos to y'all. I definitely feel like I'm going to definitely see y'all at the top for real. For real. Like, mm-hmm. and just keep pushing with y'all movement. Cause it's feel me. Y'all don't never know. Y'all need to probably take a further than y'all even thought y'all could. Like, that's the goal at all times, take a father to even know or think you could, because after that shit, it's up from there for real, for real, man. So, hey, man, it's really been a great episode, man. I appreciate y'all niggas for being on here. Who y'all want to holla at and shit before you, you know, throw this shit off? It's going to be on YouTube. We're going to get edited. We're going to put this shit really out anywhere, because uh, it's time to give it. It's the first one of the month. So, who y'all want to holla at before y'all get up off this bitch? Go ahead. Man, I just want to say a big shout out to the Hitters, cuz. You yeah, know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. They know who they is. Yeah, my dog so. Say So, my dog Austin Rucker, my dog Groovy C. Yeah, shout the out to the Hitters. Shout out to the gang, gang, man. Shout out to the gang. Shout out to my man, shit. Hit make it easy, man. Shout out my city, 612. Yeah. Uh, you know what's going on, man. We only elevating, only going up. Follow me on Instagram, hit make it easy. Yeah. Instagram's, in the, Instagram's below, man. Let's Instagram's get it, man. Below, man. Oh, God. Y'all yeah, but 2K, we signing out. What you said? What's given? You said what? What's, what's the given? What you said, Justin? Tab's given? Tab's given, yeah. You said this is the first episode yeah, of Tab's tab, given. Yeah, man. Tab's given, man. It's, 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 it's legendary. Yeah, it's man. First they, episode they, of Tab's given. Yeah, first, 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 this is the very first year of, uh, this is the very first year of Tab's given. You feel oh, me? Yeah. Because, like, Tap DNT, we really just, like, Started doing the podcast like a couple months ago, so like the holiday thing is really brand new. Yeah, yeah. this month was Taptober, you know what I mean? We doing Taptober, Halloween shit all month. Like, nah, it's Taps giving for real, for real. And I ain't gonna lie, the Tap podcast, we done came a long way. Like, from the first episode. The first episode looked completely different from how we got it set up right here, goddammit. Like, so really, I appreciate y'all niggas for being part of the elevation because it's 2K22. Tap going all the way up, man. We got a lot of shit going on. Like I said, 
my co-host M Dub interviewing Ben Zeno as we speak right now. Yeah. Like, uh, and then we got a lot more shit with a lot of other artists too coming up inside my city. And then uh, we're trying to hit the tour with it for real. For real. We're about to tap tour, just like go everywhere with tap shit. Yeah, uh, yeah, pretty yeah. much. You know what I mean? You know how niggas yeah, yeah. be doing on YouTube and shit everywhere, goddamn it. Just cause, like, ain't no reason to stay inside one place. No, no, I can yeah. show my face to as many motherfuckers as I can inside a certain amount of gotcha. time. I feel like it's gonna be easier. Like, gotcha. you hear me get more followers and shit like that. So, yeah, yeah. man, shit. Whenever y'all wanna link up again, y'all more than welcome to. Y'all, sure. y'all just, y'all said y'all about to drop merch, man. Y'all know. We got our shit up right now, man. Follow that Tap the NT, man. Yeah. Tap the Pearl. So look, hey, I want to do a collab, bro. Y'all know y'all can get some merch, bro. It's just holla at me. I'm going to just throw y'all. This, y'all can't fit this. Well, I can't yeah. throw, throw this shit y'all away right now. But yeah. y'all need some merch. You feel me? Y'all, y'all already know y'all Y'all plug me in for this. For sure, buddy. Show. We're going to cut too long, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah man. Show. Say less, man. Get hey, tapped in. y'all, man. Stay tapped, bro. Stay tapped. By the way, we bringing that educational that motivational and that entertaining content on a motherfucking daily basis it's been a great tap episode man i appreciate can't make it easy for coming through and my nigga what we got full out this bitch man 2k shit going on y'all know what's going out this bitch man hey i'm about to get up out of here because we're yeah, hot and we ready to smoke again y'all stay tap man we love y'all thank y'all for tuning in Hey, we about to rock out just one more last time to that fly out the flight. Come on. A minute and 30 seconds of that whole man, just so y'all niggas can get it together. Yeah. Rock it yeah. right out, man. Top it. We appreciate y'all for tapping in. Take note. Take note. Yeah. Uh, uh. I'm taking flight in the flight. Suit up the hole every night. You want to talk about trapping? Let's talk about rapping. Let's talk about ice. Nice in the basement, the youngin' was cooking off under the knife. Now I gotta run up the price. Dog and I won't say it twice. I gotta check on my wrist. I never check on my bitch. I got a fetish for counting the cheddar. I'm dripping, man, we to be drenched. Fuck out of turn, I let go. I wrote this shit on the road. Niggas be talking about money and clocks, but that shit ain't nothing but show. Official, official calendar girl, new back there. She taking take care of us, making sure we ain't go out this bitch, man. Hey, we tapped out, man, because it was a great episode. I love y'all. What's up? Y'all stay easy. Y'all stay tight. Hey, there's no plan. We heard you were slacky, and I get that fronty and backy and backy, and I got your bitch trying to tap in, tap in.